It's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Well, there is no denying this man's striking credentials. Prevailing wisdom is he's going to try to keep this fight standing tonight. He has to. You know, this is what got him to the show. It was being able to use the hands to set up the kicks. We all talk about the high-level boxing background of this young man. But as he's developed, he's developed great knees. Yeah. He's developed great timing, great counter skills, and also the beautiful right high kick. The right high kick is something he hides very well as he follows with a jab right hand, left hook. High kick comes over the top, and he can put you to sleep. No doubt about it. He will try to put on a striking clinic once again here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes, would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. And now our tail of the tape for this heavyweight fight. The American is 31. The Brazilian is 35. He weighed in at 261 pounds. He will have a four-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon where we find Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Dan Mergliata. This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 261 pounds. El Toro! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting at Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon! All right, bring the rules in the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, go back to your corners, come out fighting. One, we talk about wrestling being a great equalizer in MMA, but length and reach is another one. He's got a great jab. We'll see if he can employ it tonight. You have got to be born with it, right? You don't get taller. When you're a tall guy, you have to understand, make your skill set match your physical abilities. And this guy has done this tremendously. Oh! Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the jump. Head kick. Right hand upstairs. Look at how he drives his knee. Right into his opponent's mid -side. Couple of chins here being tested early. 
All right, so we have got a full-on brawl to start this fight. Any concern that these guys might burn themselves out? Oh, they're going to exhaust themselves. So we may as well enjoy it right now, because come the third round, regardless of the weight class, they're going to look like two tired heavyweights in the middle of the octagon. He is all about that left kick to the body. Oh, made good use of his size there as he lands the flush knee. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Misses with that punch. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. And they separate. Left hand counter. Just over three minutes now to go. Look at a Gorky at trying to shut the liver down. A little single collar tie there. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can rally. Oh, big head kick. And he landed the right hand there. Whiffs on that offering. Switch and he lands to the body. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Look at him drive his shin into the front of his body with that body kick. He's always on the counterattack, but a nice leg kick there by Lee. Oh, single collar tie here. Big powerful punch lands. Now he gets back to range. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Checks the leg kick. Over and over, he's landing these big body kicks. Goes back to that left kick once again. Oh, he eats a knee. And they separate. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. Body attack, and it's blocked. Nice connection with a the punch there. It's hard to recall time in the past that his boxing looked this sharp. He's never looked this good. All collar tie. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands some big knees from in close. All oh, the kickboxing chops on. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, big left. And both guys really throwing with authority. Lee's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Oh, brilliant execution to land the roundhouse. Single collar tie now. Oh, beautiful hook. Punch lands over the top. And what a round! All right, that horn signifies the end of the round. Let's take us through some replays, champ. And the replays are going to be kicks. That's the story of this fight to this point. He is landing these kicks at will, just driving his shin into his opponent's legs, and it's really starting to slow him down. All right, DC, buckle up. Here we go with our next round. High number of kicks landed in the previous round, and he'll look to keep it going. He'll look to keep winning the fight with this kick. He's throwing high kick, leg kick, body kick. He's even throwing a couple spin kicks in there. This guy is so educated with fighting with his legs. Oh, man, it ain't Dikembe Mutombo, but he is blocking all these shots coming man, this way. Man, get that out of here. He sees it coming. You're gonna have to mix it up. Shake that finger. Shake that finger. Punch over the top. 
All right, single collar tie now. You don't know when that leg kick's coming. Splits the guard, lands the right hand. Now he's got the Muay Thai club. Oh, tagged him with that right hand. Oh, big knee! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. He's getting lit up right now, John. Throwing that jab yet again out of range. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Able to check that kick as well. Big kick land. Pretty good right hand. Look at the control in the posture as that big knee lands. Beautiful punch. Oh, he's had that jab in his opponent's face all night long as he lands another one there. DC, I know you wish you had much like this. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find it home. Yes, that he heard him in the last round. Same exact one. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Landed a big kick there. Oh, straight right. And they separate. Sound defensively blocks the shots. Some nice back and forth action here. Hardy closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Ooh, and he caught the kick. Got the single collar tie. And there comes the separation now. Big left hook coming, it's blocked. Well, a really good second round for him thus far. After a somewhat lackluster first round, he has found the rhythm and found his striking range. Scary proposition for the opponent now here in round two. Just unable to quite find that range. Takedown defense holds up. Improved defensively as he blocks the shot. Leg kick. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kick. Still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. He's back in the clinch position. This is where he has done a ton of good work here. Punch, punch, punch to the head of the clinch. Lee gets hit with a kick. Ooh, blocks the shot. Great punch. Big shots being landed on both sides here. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are going to take their toll as this fight goes on. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Round three next. Well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making.
vou copiar primeiro, tem que sair na frente. All right, here we go as our next round gets right. underway. His strong leg packs so, so much fight. power that even when he doesn't throw it full throttle, you see he's able to inflict damage. We'll see if he can keep it going here in this He round. doesn't throw it full power, but even when he faints it, he draws out reactions from his opponents because they don't want to get hit with any more of those kicks. It's a sight to behold. Kick checked by Lee. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Oh, nice straight punch there. Must be nice to have a reach advantage like this, DC. Very tricky to throw that body. Kick. And they separate. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Kick to the body now, that one won't land. Ooh, nice slip there to avoid the punch by Lee. Elbow lands for him. Nice kick landed there by Lee. And he caught the kick, we'll see what he can do with it. And they separate. Oh, setting up the left hook, but out of range. Oh, a little single collar tie there. Just out of range with the big right hand. Oh! Spinning back fist. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting them up now. Right at the elbow, by the That one snuck in. Nice strike. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Continues to mix it up, going to the head, mixing in some body shots. Big body kick. Oh, and he caught the kick. Look at him whip his hip into that kick. All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Beautiful body kick. He blocks the punch. Oh, nice slip to avoid that right hand. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Got that to the target quickly. He's dictating the fight with a jab. Well, from a striking standpoint, he has put it all together tonight. He has landed a ton of significant strikes and pretty easy fight, I would think, for the judges. It's a pretty easy fight to score. Tonight was a night where everything went right, and that doesn't happen very often. Big punch land. Ooh. Just misses with the right hook. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, single collar tie here. Came with inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Trying to go to the body now with the kick. That one misses. Oh. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. It's right. very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning the position of the underhook. It opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. 
All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Oh, he is up, but man, is he hurting. A finish could come here at any time. Liver kick. That's three rounds in the can. We're headed to the championship round. All right, so a huge round for him there. Nearly had him out of there with the head kick. Did get the knockdown. Talk us through the replay. He got the knockdown. He won the round. He did everything correct. The only thing he didn't do is finish the fight. But if he continues down the path, if he continues to do the exact same thing as he did before, he will get that finish. his stance yet again. Punches in bunches, and he hasn't really shown any signs of slowing down here tonight. I'm not sure how much more his opponent can take. Well, you saw us reference it in the tail of the tape, DC. He's got the reach advantage and certainly made good use of it there in landing that check. Takedown or watch for him to employ a dirty boxing strategy. Liver kicks, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Sound defense there as he blocks the shot. Tags him with the left. Oh, trying to turn out the lights with that roundhouse kick, but just misses. kick was there early, it was there often, and ultimately ended the night for his opponent. He found a weakness in his opponent's game. The left kick, over and over, he was able to land it. And he was landing the strikes, too, with his hands, but ultimately, it was the kick that was hidden behind the punch that finished the fight for him. We now go inside the octagon where Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mugliotta has called a stop to this contest at 2 minutes, 47 seconds of round number 4. Declaring the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon Lee! 
Well, we congratulate him on a huge knockout here tonight. He'll probably keep that smile while he's sleeping tonight after what he was able to produce here. He's going to be smiling for a really long time. When you get a knockout like that, not only do you get the win, you also most times walk away with a $50,000 bonus check.